What's up everybody? My name is Ryan and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improve mine. And in this video, I wanted to share a simple tip for making and most importantly, keeping New Year's resolutions. So I just wanted to make a quick short video to share this kind of simple concept with you because I think it might be beneficial. So New Year's is a really interesting time because so many people all around the world are all looking forward into the new year and trying to make resolutions and think about like who do I want to become in the new year? What new habits or routines do I want to adapt in the new year? And I think that's great and really beneficial. But for a lot of people, unfortunately, those New Year's plans don't really work out. So I wanted to make a video kind of sharing my thought process and how I hope to make my New Year's resolutions, but also keep them throughout the year. And it's actually super simple. So basically, I just tried to think of my New Year's plans by looking back instead of forwards. So I'll look back over the past year and kind of reflect on my past year and think about what were the good things that I did over the past year that I want to continue to do into the new year, but what are also the bad things that, or the negative things that I did over the past year that might have hold, be holding me back or stopping me from accomplishing my goals, and how can I kind of fix those into the new year? And I think that ties into kind of like another important point is that a lot of the times with New Year's resolutions is that it's so easy to fall into that like, oh, I wanna like go to the gym every day or I wanna like eat healthy all the time or like sleep nine hours a night for sure. And those things are really good, but it can be kind of disheartening like when you do that for like the first week or two weeks and then you fall off the wagon and you're like, oh no, I failed on my New Year's resolutions. So a different approach to take is maybe give something up for the new year. So if one of the negative things in the past year was like an addiction that you had or maybe it was just like, like, I don't know, smoking, like smoking is a really easy example, or like drinking, like giving that up in the new year could actually be so beneficial. And the nice thing about that is like, you don't really have to do anything. You just kind of have to stop doing things. And that doesn't mean that it's easy, but it could be a way to actually have a higher chance of keeping your new year's resolution. And there's also one more point I really wanted to make in this video is that New Year's is not the only time that you're able to make resolutions or decide to make improvements. It's just a time that kind of like everyone associates with that. But don't think that this is the only time to do it. And if you mess up in the first couple weeks in or like you fail the first couple weeks in, then you gotta wait until next year to do it again. You definitely don't. You could do it any time you want it. So yeah, essentially the simple tip is just reflect on the past year before you look forward because I think that reflection on the past year will really help you and also me <laughs> with deciding what you want your New Year's resolutions to be and I think it'll also help you to keep them as well. So I hope you found this short video really helpful and yeah I just wanted to say Happy New Year and thank you to all for watching the channel and if you like the video please give it a like and subscribe. I make new videos about self-improvement every single week. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace.